Yes. So I'm pretty sure we've all seen this many times before in our lives. And we know what it represents and what it is. It's breast cancer, of course. And unfortunately, there is no cure for breast cancer at this point, but hopefully soon enough there will be. But there are many proven treatments that have worked effectively, and that's what I'll be talking about is the different types of treatments that are available for patients who have breast cancer. I've been researching this topic for several weeks now, and I hope that I can give you an insight on what it's about. This is important just in case you know it happens to you or it happens to a loved one and family member. It's not just about guys. I mean, it's not just about girls, but it can happen to guys too. So today I'll discuss the different treatments available and what the side effects are and the pros and cons of these treatments. The first thing I would like you to know are the different types of treatments available. There are many different types of treatments available, but for now I'll talk about chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and a mastectomy. Chemotherapy, it affects the whole body because it goes through your bloodstream and it gets rid of any cancer cells that are there in your breast and they spread through your whole body just in case um, there are other cells that have, other cancer cells that have spread through your body so that works well if um, it's been infected, but yeah. <laughs> Radiation therapy uses high energy um, x-ray to damage the damage the cancer cells in order to prevent the cells from growing and dividing. A um, mastectomy is just a surgery that removes the breast and the tumor as well. Now that we've seen the different types of treatments that are available, I'd like to discuss their side effects. Chemotherapy has many different side effects depending on, it also varies on how you are and you respond to the treatment. It includes nausea, um, hair loss, and low blood count. Radiation therapy has mild fatigue, aches, um, shooting pains, and you can have swelling or skin reactions can occur. If you have skin reactions, you are looked at more closely, closely because that could be infected. So, um, with mastectomy, you can get a loss of sensation. Obviously, your breasts aren't going to match because you're not going to have one, <laughs> and soreness can occur. Now that we've seen these treatments, we can look at the pros and cons. Um, as we see here, um, this lady is going, she's getting chemo, she's, um, those, uh, they're inserting catheters into her and the treatment is going to spread through her whole body to kill all cells that have spread. And this is pretty good, it works, but at the same time, it kills other rapidly dividing cells in your body, like um, blood, your mouth, your nails, and hair. So, um, for these side effects, um, there are treatments that you can get, but they'll probably most likely give you pills, and with pills, you have other side effects, so it's just depending on if you want to get the treatments or not. Um, with hair loss, there are plenty of ways available or has. Or some women like to get um, short haircuts to um, <coughs> just, you know, prepare them for their hair loss. And radiation therapy, which uses a big, huge X-ray because it's high, it's, um, it's high energy X-rays. It only it's given, it, it's usually given with a mastectomy, but it could work by itself without getting the surgery done. And this only affects the tumor. It doesn't really affect, if it's spread, you would most likely get chemo, and so that really wouldn't work for you. Um, this is, this picture and the picture before that came from um, breastcancer.org. And this process is great because it only takes a couple of weeks and it takes about seven weeks and it lasts about five minutes a day. And then with the mastectomy, you get rid of the tumor, but of course you're going to be getting rid of your whole breast in the process. And depending on the type of breast cancer that you have with the 
if you get the mastectomy, you'll most likely have to go through <coughs> radiation therapy as well, so you'll get both. And um, it just depends on what type of breast cancer you have. <coughs> um, chemotherapy is also very effective because most people will like it because it works very well and um, your insurance policy can most likely cover that. And today I've talked about the different treatments for breast cancer and what the side effects are and their pros and cons. Cancer is something that will go on for years to come until we find a better solution for it. But now there are some treatments that work effectively, so I hope that you guys have learned a thing or two about these treatments. And hopefully they can help you out. Okay, Jake, what do you got to say? Um, well, um, I like the way that you went about the subject, and I'm definitely more informed uh, on the subject, and, uh, uh, you know, the way how you uh, went from uh, explaining the different methods to uh, analyzing its pros and cons. But I wish you could have <coughs> elaborated more on the, on the methods themselves, uh, like uh, giving more detail. And I like the delivery. It was clear, and I liked the transition, so it was very smooth. And um, maybe a little more contact with the audience and project your voice a little more. Mm -hmm. That's about it. I like the overall. All right. Uh, the attention device, I think the visual is okay, but it's not very involving. I think you probably want something a little bit more dramatic. I think that's one of the problems in the rest of the speech also, that there is a lot of stuff that's kind of sketchy on the surface level and you're not pulling us in with an example or an illustration. You're kind of just kind of skimming over the highlights of the issues. It's sort of like skimming through an article on the subject instead of uh, you know, bringing it alive and making it more involving. I think that's a little problematic. Your thesis statement's very clear. Your preview is very clear. All the organizational stuff you're doing fine on. So that part's good because uh, internally there's a structure. You're signposting as you're moving through the different points. So I don't have any problems with the structural stuff, but the content is just seems like it's uh, very superficial. For example, you list the different types of treatments, but I didn't really get much of an explanation about what those treatments involve other than a basic definition. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out why one treatment is better uh, than another or if there's uh, one reason that you use them more frequently than another. I know you compare some of the negative consequences of the treatments in one point, but I didn't even think those comparisons were very extensive. I didn't have any data that told me, for instance, that one is you know, 80 percent uh, more successful or for a particular kind of cancer, that this one uh, has the highest success rate. And I think some comparative information like that might have helped a little bit. Also, pulling us in with maybe some illustrations would add to uh, the interest level in the context. The visuals are prime, they don't really explain much. What they are is their um, transition material, a little bit like, I think I made the reference earlier, like the ring girls are in the between rounds. It's like an announcement, here's the next round. Here's the chemotherapy uh, you know, slide to show you that that's the section I'm getting to now. And then here's the x-ray slide. And I think you need something that's a little bit more involving. Some of that statistical information, for instance, might have allowed us to make a comparison or even a list of the side effects of the two kinds of things might have added a bit more. All right. Thank you.